And did you fulfill all your desires? Certainly not. One of the country's most controversial writers and social critics... She was a relentless campaigner for human rights and against war. The most intelligent woman in America. Critic, activist, playwright, essayist. She wrote 17 books and won major awards, including the National Book Award. She had relationships with women, and she had relationships with men, and she fell in love with women, and she fell in love with men. When I turned 40, I was in China. When I turned 50, I was in France. When I turned 60, I was in Sarajevo, and the bombs were falling. There's a certain kind of person who likes to put themselves in extreme situations because they feel life is lived more fully there. And Susan was one of those people. I guess I go to war because I think it's my duty to be in as much contact with reality as I can be. And war is a tremendous reality in our world. The writer was supposed to be there on the front lines. The writer was supposed to stand for something. What I love, what draws me very much to writing, is it's a way of paying attention to the world. You're just an instrument for tuning into as much reality as you can. For the last hundred years in our society, the most interesting writers have mostly been critics of the society. I like that position. I like the position of being able to express uh, dissenting opinions. <laughs>